Now you emphasize that uh, th this is, is the emotions are very important, and it's an emotional process. Uh, aren't there other therapies though that put a lot of emphasis on emotion as well, and on some of these same dynamics? Uh, I'm thinking of uh, well, certainly Gestalt therapy did that, even though it was very here and now. Uh, emo there's a, an approach called emotional focus therapy. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Bruce Ecker's coherence therapy, no. and memory reconsolidation. No. Which, no. Okay, so there are a lot of, you know, therapy didn't go away <laughs> after no. you after you announced that this is the psychotherapy. There's still a lot of psychotherapies out there. Um, so I guess I wonder if you have a sense of who primal therapy is ideal for. Do you see it as the therapy for everybody, or are there certain kinds of issues that it's really best for? The, the major issue is the lack of love. The pain that was created by the fact that the child was not loved in the way that he or she needed it. Because that pain has to be repressed, and the repression has to keep coming up all the time, being active all the time. Otherwise, the pain comes up, and people start drinking, doing drugs, doing all the things that they're trying really to make themselves more comfortable. Once you take, you let, you give access. You know what's amazing is that we do and say very little, but when we see that someone is talking about something, and then we can hear that there is pain there, and we just ask them, "Well, tell me about this." What was it like? How did it feel? Very simple. And all the answers come from them. And when we are helping them becoming closer and closer to that pain, then they start crying. Then they start feeling. And then the need to, to what, they, what they did not have at the time, please look at me, please talk to me, please love me, is always at the bottom. But the, the, the main thing is that it's, it, primal is a therapy of experience rather than idea, ideas, because experience predates ideas by millions of years, you know, in evolution. And we are very careful to follow evolution in therapy, because if we put insights ahead of feeling, we're on the wrong track evolution, evol evolutionarily. So what we have to do is make sure that we have feelings before ideas and insights. 